Hey guys, Bill here, Monday morning. Well, this is the first week of taking no metformin. I'm excited and I'm nervous at the same time. I talked to my doctor a few weeks back, if you hadn't seen last Monday's video. Um, basically, he wanted to try an experiment with me. Uh, one week of baseline taking my 500 milligram metformin and giving him those numbers, which averaged out for the week to 159, by the way, then to go for three weeks with no metformin and baseline those numbers on my average every week, which starts today with no metformin. Uh, my sugar this morning was 139, and uh, I did not take metformin yesterday morning. So this will be my first day of, you know, second day basically in a sense. But yeah, so... Uh, we're going to see how this goes for a week, and then for the next week and the next week, he said give it three weeks, take the baseline numbers, and if I am not over 20 points above my baseline, which was 159 for that week of taking metformin, then I could continue to stay off metformin. And if I don't, that's okay too. It's not a failure. It just means go back on metformin. Continue to lose weight, continue to do, you know, the dieting that I'm doing, uh, the low carb and the low, you know, processed foods out of the, out of the way, the sugar's gone. And, uh, you know, we'll see where we fall. So, right now, I'm downstairs on the bike, getting in a 45 minute ride real quick, and uh, then I'm going to get on with my day. But I wanted to share that with you all, and uh, kind of anybody who's, you know, everybody does keto for a different reason, and, and for, in my case, it was... Of course, to get in better shape and to, to lose weight, who, who doesn't want to that's overweight, right? But for me, it was mostly about getting off these medicines and uh, getting healthier. And gosh, I was tired of insulin and Genuvia and Glen Pyride and Amaryl and Gabapentin and Metformin. And I was on a slew of them. And my sugars were 350, 400, 440, you know, things like that for the last 9, 10 years. So, for me to be to a point where I'll, the only thing I'm on now is 500 milligram of metformin, and my doctor is recommending let's try three weeks of not taking it, hey, I, I call that a win, even if I fail on, the, you know, on this first attempt of it. But uh, the fact that he's on board with it, I see him again in February. Um, we're going to do a full blood workup. The last blood workup I did after a few months of doing keto here has been fantastic. Uh, we were able to cut my cholesterol medicine in half, my blood pressure medicine in half. Uh, he didn't take me off the blood pressure medicine, although my blood pressure readings are really good. And we, and we had lowered it to like 20, 25 milligram, I believe it is now. But we will get there. My camera is falling down apparently. Sorry about that. I'm on my life fitness bike. I've had this thing forever. And of course, I'm losing the camera. So while I had that little camera snafu there, I figured I'd throw in a quick picture of my breakfast. I had two scrambled organic eggs and some Kerrygold butter and three pieces of bacon. Now if you see my bacon there, it's kind of a little weird. What I do is I fold it up into uh, fourths and I can cook two pounds of bacon on one sheet and it works out really well. It cooks evenly. I have it on a rack system pan so it cooks underneath as well as on top and it works out pretty good for me. But um, anyway, that's, uh, that was my breakfast today, and back to the video. Sorry about that. Had to stop. The camera was slowly drifting down. Anyway, yeah, um, we'll see what this next three weeks brings me. Every Monday I'll check in real quick like this and let you know what my baseline number was. Uh, after this week of no metformin on Monday next week, I will be checking in to say, this is what my baseline was with no metformin for the week as compared to the last week of testing to get a baseline on metformin at 159 was my base sugar. Um, I'm always fighting sugars, but each time they reduce these medicines and I see numbers, you know, that start to creep up or that concern me a little bit like this. Obviously being diabetic is not fun and everything, but to see those numbers on such little medicine versus what they used to be on so much more medicine, I call that a win either way. <laughs> so 
Uh, check back with me next week if you're interested in this part of our series. It's just basically me trying to get, you know, to the point where I'm not on any medicines. And that's, that's the main goal for me. And then the continuing the weight loss. Last week we had a very strange week. My weight was up. Stacy's weight was up. We've had a lot of stress. We've uh, lost a couple people that are in our lives and friends of people that are in our lives as well as a uh, classmate of mine from back in the day of going back to school. So it's been a weird week. Stacy was working some crazy weird hours. None of us were sleeping right. So, you know, not excuses, but possible suggestions as to what was going on. Did not go off my keto, did not go off on my calories or my macros. So I'm a little confused by that week. I'm trying not to even let it bug me because I know I did good. If I, if I goofed up and went out to eat and did all kinds of dumb stuff, I'd just, you know, slap myself in the head and say, get back on track, boy. But I'm doing what I could do. We're human. We have good weeks, we have bad weeks. And I'm trying to just realize that and recognize it. Looks like my camera is drifting down again. Maybe that's just time to turn this off and get back to the bike and let everybody get back to their day. But I just want to share that with everybody. Let you know I am into my first week of no metformin. And we are going to baseline that as of next Monday. And I will fill you in. And gosh, cross some fingers, say a prayer. I'd love to be off all these medicines. That would be like the biggest victory for me ever. All right, man. Take care. Have a good week. And stay keto.